Hey guys, I pray you well. This is going to be a quick um, message. Uh, read Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 14, and I think Ezekiel chapter, I uh, forget, 4, I believe. But anyway, I pray you well. It talks about the spirit of divination, lying visions, false dreams that were never sent by God. Be careful who you listen to because that's going around on YouTube a lot, okay? Um, it's not to say that, that people aren't gifted with prophecy. You know, it's gift of the Spirit. Some people will have the gift of prophecy. Some people will have a gift of tongues. It does say it in the Word. Read, I think it's First Corinthians or the Book of Acts. Book of Acts also talks about um, the Lord will pour His Spirit out. Young men will have uh, dreams. Older men, I'm sorry, young men will have visions. Older men will dream dreams. Sons and daughters will prophesy. That's true. But we have to try and test every spirit, okay? Be careful who you listen to, especially if they're getting a word from the Lord like every day or a vision and they claim it's from God. And if this person has made an error more than once and you've had to correct them because of a false prophecy or false doctrine, plain and simple, they haven't been sent by God. You've got to be careful. In this last day, you know, this very late hour, the Bible warns that we have to try and test every spirit. It warns about false Christ rising up. False prophets, false teachers, false leaders, you've got to be very careful not to let anyone um, steal your crown or get you deceived because if you listen um, to a person that's preaching false prophecy, you can literally open yourself up to that divination spirit, that familiar spirit, that false spirit. Okay? Um, just be careful. Don't let anybody mess with your salvation. Keep winning souls into the kingdom of heaven. Keep winning, you know, finishing this race. Do the works for God. Teach sound doctrine. Um, avoid, you know, stay and repent it all the time. You know, don't don't commit willful sin. You know, Hebrews ten twenty six. I just had to say this because um, I'm going to try to read you one of the words that fell on my spirit. I believe that the Holy Spirit wanted me to warn you guys. So, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 14. This is the scripture I'm going to give you. Then said the Lord unto me, The prophets prophecy lie in my name. Um, I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and a divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Um, therefore, and this is verse 15. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets, that prophecy in my name, and I sent them not, and they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. I'm sorry, guys, my dog is barking. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. I'm sorry. Coco, be quiet. Coco, be quiet. Be quiet. Sorry, you guys. This is how the enemy works. I'm trying to put out an important message, and all these distractions happen. I hope you got that. That's Jeremiah chapter 4, verses 14 to 16, I believe. Um, and then Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 7 says, Have you not, um, have you not, what does it say? Um, have ye not seen a, vi a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, the Lord saith it, and albeit I have not spoken. So um, basically, it's asking, Have you seen a false vision? Have you seen one speaking a lie? Um, you know, have you seen, it's basically telling you false prophets, okay? Have, did you not see a false vision or speak a lying divination when you said the Lord declares, but it is not the Lord that has spoken those words? So if you're saying you're getting words from the Lord, please be very careful. And you better be from the Lord because you're going you're gonna to be held accountable for that. Same thing with visions and dreams. I don't know. I think you shouldn't say it as fact. I mean, if you believe it's from the Holy Spirit, you know, that's your opinion. But don't say the Lord said when he said not. Just be careful. And those of you that are listening to these people, please make sure you're trying and testing the spirits like God told us to do in the word. He said for us to make sure if they're of him or not. And don't be afraid to speak out against them if they're not of him. Ezekiel 33, I think it is, or 18, that we have to be a watchman on the wall. Okay? I'm only telling you guys, because I have love for you guys, you know? Don't let anybody steal your crown. Just keep winning this race, win souls into the kingdom of heaven, and try and test every spirit. Even if they sound 
charming and friendly and very charismatic and um, very um, personable, likable. You know, you got to remember something, okay? Not um, There are flowers out there. I don't know why I'm using this analogy. That are beautiful, but they're poisonous. Okay, there are, you know... I'm just I'm just using that as an analogy. Person can look friendly and nice outside but be very very deceptive on the inside. Remember God reads the hearts of man. So, you know, just be careful, okay? Be careful because this is going around on YouTube a lot, not just YouTube. It's going around on um You see it all over the place. Man, I even see it in my job. It's pretty pretty sad. All right, guys, God bless. Stay in the word and, and take this to God in prayer. Don't trust me what I'm saying. Just ask God if what I tell you is true. All right? All right, you guys. Take care of yourself.